Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to find out how strong internet's favorite material, floral foam, is. And we are going to do four different tests. Dry, wet, frozen, burned. So we are going to also find out which is the strongest form of floral foam. And this video is sponsored by our brand new Twitch channel. We are going to stream there some of our most interesting filming days. So if you want to see the whole four hours instead of just one 10 minute YouTube video, go follow us on Twitch. We have first official stream tomorrow and we are going to do two new Hydraulic Press channel videos with Worm Maker 15 million. Yeah, but let's start with the dry floral foam. And my wife thinks that it's only going to take 50 kilos, but I say 380. And write your own opinion down in the comments now. Yeah, and here we go. Looking strong. <laughs> it's so weak. And the max was, I didn't get the max here, but you can see it on the video. It was, I think it was pretty goddamn close to the 50 kilos. So I lose and the wife wins. And here is the end result. Just like pancake. And it was interesting that it, first it took some force and then it just like gave up and didn't have any strength at all left. But I think we are going to next test the frozen one to get something a bit harder under there. Yes, and then the next one, this is frozen, so it's a little bit moist or wet, and then it has been 24 hours in freezer. So it's hard as a brick. But how strong it is? That we are going to find out. And my wife thinks 400 kilos and I'm going to say 2 tons. And here we go. Ah, it's melting. What? Wow. It's also really strong. Holy shit, I have to go. Okay, now it's broken. How much was it? 2.7 tons. So game is even now. Just like a couple millimeters is melted and it was probably because these were warm not because of the pressure and we had a bit of like pukrit kind of action going on with the material but not nearly as strong i think the fibers on these are much too short for good pukrit stuff yes and then the wet one and i'm going to say that it doesn't affect at all is it wet or dry and my wife thinks that's speaker, so let's see. Exactly the same. Uh. 
There was surprisingly large amount of water inside of that. Yeah, and then the last one. Yes, and now the burnt one. This is a lively toasted with a gas torch. And it's also slightly wet because if you just toast it and leave it, it's going to catch on fire. It's going to take forever, but it's going to just disappear. And I don't want to burn that inside of the workshop. It smells really bad and the smoke is probably toxic. So, so this is now also slightly wet and it's not completely burnt. And exactly the same. Yeah, so only way to improve your floral foam is to freeze it. And I think that's not good for the flowers, so it's pretty bad product. Yes, and here is the tool for Sunday's Twitch stream and next week's Hydra Press channel video. It's Worm Maker 15 million. It's much stronger than the previous one. And the diameter is much smaller, so we can get... I think it's going to result in about four times higher pressure and the holes are also much larger so it's going to be much easier to verminate things and my goal for the tool is to make lego worms yeah but that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day And for today's extra content, we have this Tasmanian tiger. It's extinct animal, but there is this one still left. And it's extremely angry because all of its friends has gone. So we must deal with it. <laughs>